What the hell? Why is he seeing you here? Karen, what are you doing here? Are you following me? Yeah. Why did you fucking move? To escape the creditors and the chaos you caused. Thank God you are in jail. Whether you like it or not, we're still a family. We're divorced, Cameron. Uh huh. Steven's my son. Not anymore. He doesn't want anything to do with you. Hey. <clears throat> Listen to me. If you really wanted Steven to have a better life, why don't you accept the offer from your old man? You know he's the richest person in the fucking world. Must be her. First, leave me and my son alone. And second, I have nothing to do with that man. If you want his money, go ask for it yourself. God. This isn't even about you and me, okay? This is about Steven. Don't fucking use my son as an excuse to get money. You don't even care about him. Hey, hey. who the fuck is this guy? Let go of Tell me! me! Get off! Leave her alone. Hey, hey, hey. That's enough. Hey, hey, I said stop. Jason. Sorry, Miss Anderson. Winslet. Not Anderson. Yes, Miss Anderson. Just go back to wherever you come from and tell him to stop interfering in my life. Mr. Anderson, only once. Make sure you and his grandson are safe. No need. Elliot Carter, right? Yeah, Helena Winslet? Yes. I'm divorced. Right, and that guy's your ex-husband? Right. It's too much to explain right now. Let's just go. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, Mr. Anderson has a message for you. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I didn't mean to cause any He said, of... if you can reunite Helena Anderson and Steven Anderson with the Anderson family, he'll eliminate all of your debts. Plus, an additional amount of money that you can live the rest of your life off. <laughs> Pleasure to meet your son. I'm Jack. Helen is uncle. So, how did you meet? What's your love story? <sighs> okay, I guess we need to know. Um, I have a son named Steven. He's 11. I work at Next Day, which is an interior design firm. And we're going to a family dinner, and to be more specific, it's my Uncle Jack's family dinner. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you want me to go to a fucking nonsense dinner? Please, this, this is serious. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll be interesting. Okay, long story short, this is their way of dragging me into family politics and guilt tripping me for past events, and I... I can't do it alone, okay? Not again. Okay. So, honey, babe? Either is fine, just be professional. And remember, this is about avoiding their drama. Maybe it'll be a little less schlubby next time. Sure. You know, I think a little gratitude is in order, considering I'm here to assist. Oh, my apologies. Um, I'm sorry for not introducing everyone sooner. <laughs> this lovely lady is my wife, Melissa, our daughter, Ada, and... And I'm Joe. My husband, Hank, he's tied up at the shop tonight. We all do our part, Joe, even in small businesses. <laughs> so, 
Did you also stumble into a huge fortune? Helena has a type, you see. Uh, no, I'm more of a corporate type. I work at Empire Global Corporation. <laughs> I'm an economic director. Empire's resilience is admirable. You've got a good eye, Helena. Yeah. Uh, isn't Empire dabbling in AI? No. Uh, yes, they're exploring other strategies. I'll let the man speak. <laughs> well, actually, Liv always discussed everything. We're actually discussing the possibility of getting engaged. We're actually discussing the possibility of getting engaged. Oh, yes, Elliot and I, we're talking about getting engaged soon. Oh my God, congratulations. Ew, it's gross. Ada. Uh, please, please don't mind Ada. She tends to sweat the small stuff. <laughs> uh, Jack has considerable experience in artificial intelligence. Elliot's in finance. He's not in tech. Small business at the end of the day. Will you excuse me? I need to use the restroom. Hey. I see you found yourself another sugar daddy. That was really quick. Do you have a warranty for this one? Move. What if I don't? Get out of the way. What are you doing? Get away! Get away! Ow! 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 <sighs> Can't believe that's the family you've been dealing with. Please just drop me off at the subway station. I can drive you home. It's really not necessary. I saved your neck twice tonight. I insist. Subway station. That's all. Thank you for tonight. But maybe next time, tone down the whole millionaire act, okay? Mr. Easton, is there anything else needed for the service? Mr. Easton, is there anything else that's needed for the service? Leslie, this is absolutely ridiculous. What kind of psycho would come up with this absurd service? It was Mr. Easton's idea. Your father, sir. Oh, I can't believe it. Both my clients have been complete nightmares. Oh, how is it going today? Well, let's just say it didn't end on a high note. Thank you for tonight. But maybe next time, tone down the whole millionaire act, okay? Hey, 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 hey. Look, you hired me to be your boyfriend. Making it believable is just part of the job. And I appreciate the effort. But the whole Empire Group Corporation thing escalated things unnecessarily. Well, I had to sell it. They were getting very suspicious, and you know they were. I have to go. Hey, where'd you get that necklace? It's personal. How personal? Don't worry about it. Maybe you'll get that five star rating after all. Some damn service. Why does she have a necklace from the Anderson family?
What a boyfriend. As you know, Tim's project is going well. And if this project fails, he could outpace you in the secession race. So no matter what, you have to handle this service and ensure a top-notch rating. Ah, oh, Jesus. There is still time to turn this around before she leaves a review. <sighs> Just win the succession. Nothing else. Shit. No good news at all. No good news at all. Hello, this is Helena. Hello, is everyone there? Hi, this is Helena. Who's this? Hi, good morning. This is Elliot. Hi, this is Helena. Who's this? Hi, good morning. This is Elliot. Who? I, I think you have the wrong number. No, Helena, wait, wait. It's me from the rent-a-boyfriend service last night. Do you remember? Oh, uh, right. Did you, did you need something? I was just checking in with the service. Were you satisfied with how everything went? Sure, ev everything's fine. Just fine? Are there any improvements or feedback you would suggest? Nope, everything's good. 10 out of 10. Okay, your, your feedback means a lot to me, considering my job kind of depends on it. So <laughs> okay. you, maybe we can meet at a later date and just... You know, you're, you're fine. Five stars. Could you just... Could you just hold on a sec? Hello? Is anyone there? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. Okay. Hey, are you okay? What's going on? Yeah, you're really hot. Okay, let me get you some medicine. I'll be right back. Hello? <sighs> what a rude woman. Review submitted for Elliot. Terrible. What? It's terrible? Oh, sorry, Elliot. Leslie, get to my office. May I come in? He's grown so. Last time I saw him, he was just a baby. How touching. Heard about your job loss the next day. Find anything new? It's none of your concern. How about you come home with Stephen? It's not a home for us. Got it. Keep tabs on Tim for me. Joyce is dissatisfied with our proposal for the dilapidated building. She's demanding a more detailed design plan before moving forward with the contract. 
Something feels off, Leslie. I don't know what it is. I've spent years expanding the Anjum family business. Eventually, I'll need a successor for my legacy. And that person is Stephen. Are, are you out of your mind? Jesus! What are you, some kind of race car driver or something? You said you wanted to get here quick. Five star view. Fine. Thank you. Fucking businessman. <laughs> Said he wanted to get here quick and nearly shit his pants. Uncle Josh, I have been working on this project for over a year and a half. You, you didn't even consult with me. You're not the president yet, bud. You only have one month left, after all. Okay, one month for, for what? I, I don't... Hey, 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 hey. Fucking businessmen! Fucking businessmen! You're fucking kidding me! Dude, do you realize how much that's going to cost me? We'll compensate it, but you really shouldn't be parked in the middle of the road. I'm an Uber driver. I don't give a shit. Don't park in the middle of the road. This is hardly the middle of the road. Adrian, what the hell's going on? Josh, I'll call you back. <laughs> I see. You're too busy to deal with normal people. Not even a fucking apology. Okay. Put your information in. You know... I could see your ass for negligence. Then you'll never get a fucking cent in the whole world because I'll be able to convince anybody that you're just a fucking fraud. A fraud? Dude, you hit my car from behind. Good luck explaining that. You know, you're sweet, but I have very important things that I need to do today. So go to this address and we'll take care of all of it. Who do you think you are? The fucking president? Not yet. Soon, though. Oh. Wow. I don't understand, Frank. You said we play cards today. <laughs> I knew she'd come through. Hey, Jen, give me the cash, won't you, so I can play some card. Give me the cash, won't you, so I can play some cards. Right, since you've paid me back every other time I've lent you money. Fat chance. Oh, you don't talk to me like that. I'm your father. Maybe if you'd actually acted like my father since mom left. Mm. <sighs> what kind of pompous ass name is Adrian Quentin? I'll get that money tomorrow, you arrogant bitch. Grandpa, I'm fine. I didn't even get a scrape. Let's just let this go. Yeah. <laughs> Says the guy that just crashed his own car. You know what you really have to do? You have to hire a driver. I don't need a driver, okay? I'm perfectly capable of driving. Okay, it was one accident in years. One is all. The only reason that I got into an accident was because Uncle Josh said I had one month left. Do you know what he's talking about? No, hell no. I'm gonna find out, I'll tell you that. Look, why don't you just meet me at the office, all right? But only after you've been cleared to leave. Let me just pull you in. I love you like you were my own kid, Adrian. Maybe you just don't have the experience for this project. Mr. Richfield, I hear you, okay? I just, I need you to trust me on this. This deal is... Just give me one moment. 
This better be very important because I'm sitting in a meeting with Mr. Richfield right now. Sorry, sir, there is a woman here demanding to speak with you. She has your personal business card. Uh, tell her to come back later. I'm sorry. Let me... <laughs> I'm not gonna come back later, dude. I need a new car. You might not have to work every day, but I can't afford that. Listen, calm down. Okay, I'm sitting in a very important meeting right now. I will handle it later. You want me to calm down? I... I, I don't care if you're having a meeting with the president of the fucking United States, dude. If you don't come out here. Deal with her, kiddo. Maybe we can try and find something else to work on right later. I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna tear apart every single what thing. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with him? Mr. Richfield, hey! Listen, you trust in my dad? You will like this. Please, please, please just read it. Again, another time. Just check it out once. Hey, you! You really think you're going to get out of here without paying me back? Richfield. Hi. Do you know who that was? D do you know who I am? Yeah, I do. Adrian Quentin. And I don't care, okay? You owe me for yesterday. Hey, that was Mr. Richfield. He's the owner of Richfield Refineries, okay? Listen to me. Your childish antics almost just lost me a massive supply deal. My childish antics? You're the child. You know how to drive a car. I'm not listening to an Uber driver. Are you seriously ignoring me right now? Give me my phone. <laughs> no. You're seriously ignoring me right now? Give me my phone. <laughs> no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. I was sending an email to Mr. Richfield. It's very important. Okay, I will deal with your claim after. I need a car, okay? I, I, I can't afford to not work right now. I get it. Okay, I get it. But you can't act like this in a public space. You're telling me how to act? You snatched my phone out of my hand. Who does that? You crashed into a parked car, refused to apologize, and now you're not paying me back. Who does that? Are you freaking kidding me? No. Uh, I take it this is the young lady that you crashed into, huh? Well, since my, uh... Grandson is too busy to deal with his responsibilities. Why don't I help you, huh? Thank you. I'm Xander Quentin, at your service. <laughs> now tell me something. Did my good-for-nothing grandson offer you any kind of compensation? Not a single penny. <laughs> well, say no more. Did I hear you say earlier on that you were uh, a driver? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> we just lost a driver. Will you be a perfect fit for us? You know, it would be as a corporate driver position, pays really well. I mean, I mean would you be interested? I mean, because regardless, you know, I, I do want to help you with your car. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know, just say yes. I'll send you a contract tonight. You can start tomorrow, all right? And until your car is ready, you can, uh, well, feel free to drive one of the corporate cars. Great. Okay, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Quentin, is there something you need? Uh, no, I'm okay. I just needed to... <sighs> it's you? No. No. <laughs> no. Don't be so melodramatic, you guys. You're practically perfect for each other. No, replace her, because I'm not going to be driven around by a... Oh, whoa, buddy, you better not finish that sentence. There's no time. We have a tight schedule. Not anymore. I'm moving all of my meetings today. You should have spoken to me before you look, hired look, her. She is perfectly capable of driving you in a car. All right, so you're going to go with her. As for you, you signed a contract. Now, if you want us to be uh, terminating you immediately, just say the word. You signed this? Yeah. Why? Is, is there something wrong with it? <sighs> okay. You two kids, you have a nice day. Oh, but better get going, because Adrian's going to miss his first appointment, all right? Chop, chop. You better get going, because your contract clearly states that you need to get me to all of my appointments 
punctually. I'm not leaving from this spot until you tell me what's so bad about the contract I signed. I don't know. Maybe you should have read it more clearly. Eh. This is the company's copy. Now please proceed or get out and go tell grandfather that I'm going to need a new driver. <sighs> wow, I think I'm going to have to deduct points now for this situation. What, are you my driving instructor now? I don't know. Maybe I should be. You know what, sir? Maybe you really should be, since you are the better driver between the two of us. I like the sound of that. You know what? I'm going to give you points back now for that, for your proper manners. Well done, Miss Scott. <laughs> you know, I'm realizing that our time together is making you a much better human being. I wouldn't push your luck, buddy. Uh, what was that? Eh? Don't be snarky. Now, this contract clearly states that you are to agree with me anytime I say something, because I'm always correct. No, it doesn't. You made that up. I made it up, or did you just sign it too fast? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to figure out after work. But that reminds me, I have a lot of meetings I have to get to. So please, start the car. Are you always the smug? Only to my underlings. Mostly underlings. What was that? Nothing, sir. Uh, sir, I, I followed Xander Quentin like you asked. He read over the will like you were worried about, and he assigned Adrian a new driver. It's a woman. Uh, for some reason, it seems like Xander has forced them to work together. Damn. I was stupid to say that to Adrian. Uh, you can go. Oh, and uh, do something with your hair. What the hell are you up to, Dad? Dad, you really think I wouldn't notice something's off? My brother's will. I'm your only son now. The company should go to me. Besides, if you read it, you know that there's a certain clause that Adrian doesn't meet the requirements for. He can't inherit the company. So, you don't mind that Adrian turns 25 at the end of the month and because he isn't married, he'll lose the presidency and the company? I know what you're up to. You're trying to marry him to his driver, aren't you? It'll never work, old man. It's a go. Wake up! I told you that today was going to be a long day. I'm sorry, I just... There's a hotel across the street. We can stay there. What? A hotel? Is that necessary? You're not going to be able to drive an hour. You're half asleep. Why don't you drive out? Because I'm not allowed to drive. Okay, it's a hotel... I... Said. No. You're not really my thing. And I... I'm going to get two rooms. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Again, so sorry about this. This isn't the only room we have left. Thank you. I like it. Uh, you can have the bet. Hmm. Keep up this nice streak and I actually might like you one day. You know, I... I can be nice. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Turn around. Turn around. Ow! Uh, don't put on a show. I'm the one putting on a show. You're throwing clothes at me. I've been wearing them all day. I don't want to wake up in them tomorrow. <clears throat> <sighs> You're kidding me. Clothes are supposed to be folded and put back properly. <laughs> hey, don't roll your eyes at me.
Does she know I'm late? <laughs> Not that big of an office, I'm sure she noticed. Why so late? Did you finally drop the jerk? He dropped me before I could. It was weird. And I oh, don't let me interrupt. Please, share all your dating problems. I could remind you you should be working right now. Now you've finally joined us, you could prioritize this action item. Get an interview for the finance column with the Fletcher Group CEO this week. But he never does interviews. Like, not ever since he took over as CEO. And why isn't this my interview anyways? I, I don't even care if he can speak English. Get the interview. Set it up. Or your upcoming performance review might be your last one. What a bitch. No. There's no way she can get it. She'll be out of here as soon as I tell my boss about her poor performance. No problem. I'm glad you found out she worked here. I've wanted her gone a while anyway. Don't worry about it, Sally. Anyone messes with you, they mess with me. Andy? You're late. I was about to leave. So this is your ex? What is this? <clears throat> it's over, darling. I wanted to tell you some other way. Are you cheating on me while this stripper gives you a lap dance? Stripper? <laughs> you hick. My family owns half this city. Oh, that makes sense. It's over, darling. At least you won't have to worry about splitting the rent when you move in with her. Hey, I paid for some stuff. When? Did I miss something while I was paying for food, rent, your student loans for years? How much? Hello? I said how much. Add it up right now, Skank. When I think about all the things I had to do, Supporting both of us? Thirty grand. Bullshit. I know the numbers. Here. Take it. Take it. Oh my god, you crazy bitch! What the fuck? Baby, wait! Could I get one more? Let's do it again. And hurry. Before my terminally single grandson gets here. Just war. Grand, are we really doing this again? Why shouldn't I drink? My grandson refuses to get married and finally give us an heir to the Fletcher Group Company. What's the point of going on? Yeah, thanks so much for setting me up on yet another blind date. It's late. Let's go. Fine, I'll go. I'll go to hell. Gran, not this again. If you don't tell me you're getting married, I'm going to end it right here. Uh, he is. Right, honey? We are. Um, I'm Darlene, Andy's fiance. <laughs> Andy's fiance. <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, that settles it. We have to celebrate. Three more, not waters. You're going to play along for a while? It's just a contract, after all. Sure. That's a decent proposal. <laughs> well, I finally got Gran in a car, but at least she's happy. She'll be watching us like a hawk for a while. Will you stay with me till then? All nighter. What did we do? Well, we celebrated. I drank a lot. But when City Hall's office is opened, 
We've tied the knot. Oh my god, we actually did it. Oh, uh, you aren't with someone. You didn't say... No, no, no. My ex-boyfriend is... dead. We can end all this right away. Hold on, no rush. I mean, frankly, my grand would kill me. And maybe herself if she found out we got divorced right away. We have to stay together for a bit. Look, don't drive. Take this. Call a cab. Lunch, anything, it's paid for. I'll call you later. Wait, what about the... Divorce? Hey, I've been thinking about you. Honey, um, listen, are you by any chance a billionaire? Uh-oh. Yeah, my secret's out, huh? Well, um, why didn't you say anything? I like the way you came to my rescue without knowing who I am. Why? Having second thoughts? Well, I barely had the chance for first thoughts. I can't believe I married Andy Fletcher, billionaire tycoon. Something wrong? No, listen, um, I hate to ask, but could you do me a favor? Anything. Just ask. I work at the Daily Brief, and uh, they want... We want you for an interview. I know you don't like... Sure. Sure? I'll do you one better. So I take it you're still in the same clothes because you finally showed up to one of those blind dates. Can't be seen going around on dates, Owen. I'm a married man. What? You're wasting my time. We got the interview. Oh, and by the way, he placed an offer to purchase the site. <laughs> you got the interview. In five minutes? Sorry. That's bullshit. It's true. He says he has availability for us. For me. Hey! So, I just got off a call with Fletcher Group PR. How the hell did you manage to get time with Andrew Fletcher? Uh, no problem. Hey, that's my job, right? <laughs> Amazing stuff. Yeah, his assistant's going to be calling to set up the time, so, yeah. So now that I got you the interview, is there anything else you need? Oh, sorry. What was that? You got the interview? Well, okay. <laughs> then you should be the one to interview him. Yeah, great job, Darlene. And it sounds like Mr. Fletcher is eager, so we could be doing this as early as tomorrow. On it. I'll confirm. Right. Oh, and Darlene, make sure you ask him about his offer to buy the brief. Okay. Of course. Right. Well, do. Job. <laughs> you heard the boss. Get to it. We'll see if you can deliver. Then we'll see if you still have a job here. We'll just fucking see. Ready for your big moment? I think so. You'll be using these questions. But I've worked on mine all night. You proved them. Now I'm approving these. Stick to the script and do your job. Mr. Fletcher's here. Hello there. Well, thank you for joining us today, and on such short notice. I'm excited to be here. I haven't done an interview in a while. Well, we're happy to have you. Uh, shall we jump right in? Great. Um, everyone knows you're a notorious bachelor, but is there someone special in your life? What? This isn't slap gossip. What is she doing? I don't know. Uh, these aren't the approved questions. She's gone off script. <sighs> huh. We can ask him No, it's fine, actually. Just recently, I got married. On the other hand. Well, thank you for coming today. My pleasure. 
Thank you for having me. Um, before you go, I do have to ask about your recent offer for the purchase of this very publication. Not just an offer. I was advised this morning that the purchase was accepted. It only makes sense that your audience should hear it here first. Holy shit, is that true? May I ask why? Let's just say that I look forward to becoming more involved with the world outside my boardroom. Well, we look forward to that too. Darlene! Oh man, Fletcher had nothing but good things to say about you. And I mean, that relationship question, boy, that pay off. I mean, great instincts. Thanks, I uh, <sighs> thought it was a risk worth taking. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can take call. Yeah, go. Mm -hmm. Dad? Lean, what the hell do you think you're doing? I, what? I don't know what you're talking You're in deep shit, girl. Get over here. I need to see you. But Dad, I'm at work. Get over here now, or you'll never see your brother again. Lini, please help me. Daryl. Sorry, Lini. He made me say it, I didn't- Shut up! So why the hell did you break up with Zach, huh? He was cheating on me, Dad. He broke up with me before I could. I don't give a rat's ass. He was investing in your mama and me's online store idea. Now he's backing out. It's 20 grand. Gone. Come on, Dad. You really think you- Shut up! We fed you. We took care of you. This is how you repay us? Your father's right, Lini. You gotta take care of your folks. Look, I can send you more than usual this month. Oh, we're way past that. We're way past that. She's not at the office. They said she just left. Family emergency? <laughs> Let me find out. You're gonna fix this for us. One second. Hello? Hey, hey, what are you doing? I was on the- Shut your whore mouth! We have to find her. Now. Hey, let go! Nuh uh You're gonna help us whether you want to or not! We need the money! <laughs> and there's plenty of ways to get it when you're a young woman. I want you to meet a friend of mine! She used the card for a cab. She went to the parents' home address. Let's go. <laughs> there she is. You get her for an hour. And then we forget about what I owe on that last hockey game. Like it never happened. You're a shitty gambler, Hank. But you do have some good ideas to pay off your debt. Don't worry, baby. I'm gonna treat you real nice. You know, you might even like him. Darlene! Are you okay? Hey man, she's mine. Who the hell do you think you- <gasps> I'm taking you home. I can't believe your parents would do this to you. This isn't the first time, but never again. You hear me, Dad? Never again! It's going tired. Is she alright? I don't know how she could be. Those animals almost had her. How oh, someone could do that to their own daughter. I want to know more about this family. The parents, especially. 
maybe they didn't do this to their own daughter. Morning. Look, I was only messing around. Get off me. Come. No, we are all right for drinks. Oh, oh it's all of your business. Oh. Are we done here? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Let's get out of here. You're right. Yeah. I'm alright. Alright. I slept with an escort. Uh. Did we, um. Oh, no. No, uh, no, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm, I understand I'm, how this works. Uh, just give me a moment. Um. The, uh, oh, no, honestly. Thing or Amelie. Really, no. Or. Uh, this is that good. You don't need to. You just. And his sister. Escort. Really? Really? Daddy want me pleased. It didn't take long to get over it, Kevin, did it? Yes, well, that's what happens when your fiancé starts shagging your sister. Don't blame me. It's not my fault that you couldn't keep him. Are you just here to stalk me? Oh, no, no. I'm here to share really good news. Kevin and I had a beautiful ceremony last night. So it's official! You haven't. Au contraire. Strike while the iron's hot, I say. And this... This really is just insurance. Because me, married, and you running around with their escorts. That fortune is mine. Oh, uh... <laughs> escorts? <laughs> escorts? No. No, I... no! This, <laughs> this is my new fiancé. Yes, um, his name is... Liam. Liam Gar... Garrison. Liam, Liam Garrison. Garrison, yes. He was of French nobility, hence mm. why we had to keep it keep it quiet. Of course. But uh, no, <laughs> yeah, he's mine and he's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about this. If I find out anything, I swear. You two aren't going to chill me out of what's mine! <laughs> oh my god. Well, um, quite the sisterly bond you two have. <laughs> yes, well, welcome to the Quinn family. You're a Quinn? Yes. Tamara Quinn. <laughs> Please don't tell your friends about this, it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> But, um, thank you for going along with all of that. Oh, well, you know, anything to see that look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? She won't let it go. She'll be making phone calls right now. She'll know we're lying. What should we do? Um, got a bit of a big favour to ask. If the price is right. <laughs> Would you mind pretending a little while longer? Would you mind pretending a little while longer? For you? I'd do it. So, <laughs> obviously it won't be a real marriage. Uh, we'll just get the paperwork signed and... Um... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'll, I'll completely reimburse you, you know, for your services. Oh, not for your services, for your husband services. The husband experience, if you like. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just listening to myself and you must think I'm crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it does sound odd. <laughs> but um, having met your sister, if your father's anything like her, then I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> so... Well, you know what? I'm not doing anything this week. <laughs> yes, let's get married. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's great. 
I will see you at 11.30. The town hall tomorrow at um, 11.30. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Sir Harrington, there you are. I've been worried sick. Good to see you, Alice. I've been worried sick. It's good to see you, Alex. I had a wild night last night. <laughs> In case you've forgotten, you're supposed to be researching the Quints. They might be the best fashion company to invest in, but we need more information about the owners. Private information. If you don't want to make a choice, you'll regret. <laughs> well, let's just say I've made some progress on that. Already? How? But you... I'm marrying the eldest daughter tomorrow. <laughs> Why do you look so surprised? I'm going to need you to do some digging. Find out everything you can on this girl. Favorite food, first family pet. I need to make an incredible first impression. Driver? What are you doing? Put me <sighs> down! Get off of me! Crossing Get... the threshold! <laughs> Put me down! Oh. Oh. I'm doing a pretty good job of selling it. <sighs> Like I said, I know the best divorce lawyers in town. They'll get us out of this mess, no problem. But in the meantime, you are... Liam, Liam Garrison, the eldest member of the renowned Garrison family, holds a degree in politics and economics from <laughs> Oxford, specialising in art collection and investment. <laughs> what? No, nothing. I just... Didn't think you'd learn it that quickly. <laughs> this all must be quite new for you. So, if you need any money transferred to, you know, look the part, I can send that over. But in the meantime, one condition. If we're going to do this, you must not be seen with any other women. My family are very proud, and trust me, that shit will not fly. Don't worry, I will be the model husband. Get off me. <sighs> Shit, it's my dad. What's this I'm hearing about a marriage? Uh, Dad, no, uh, don't worry. No, I am worried. You've done enough to drag this family into disrepute. He'd better not be a wastrel. No, Dad, uh, he's from good stock. Um, he's the last of a long line of uh, French aristocrats. I don't care, we. Aristocracy, you say? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to meet the chap. Very well. I'll see you both tomorrow at the banquet. Oh, wait, no, hang on. <sighs> All good? Um, I have another favour to ask. It's not quite as big as the last one, but my dad has invited us to a banquet. Oh, well, um, we better get started on turning me into nobility, haven't we? <laughs> How's your French? Only the basics, baby. Je t'aime. Focus. If my family catches you out, I am done for. It was sometime early in 1980. <sighs> I'm exhausted. How do you live like this? Trust me, this is the easy part. Oh. Wait until we meet them. Mm. But look, if you're exhausted, we can uh, try out your new skills. Ready? Mm. Waiter. Ah, oh, your usual I've missed there. <coughs> Sorry, can we just have a couple of minutes? <laughs> of course. <coughs> hey, Fever. <laughs> mm. Um, this is a very strict members-only club. How on earth does he know who you are? I... 
I come here all the time with clients. Right. Yes. Okay. But why did he call you Mr. H? Well, I let them call me whatever they want. Uh, H for handsome, D for daddy. <laughs> you can call me whatever you like. <laughs> yeah, whatever floats your boat. Oh, my ex-husband, oh. Kevin, as in married to my sister, Bella. Don't worry about them. Let's just enjoy our evening. Enjoy it? They're sitting right there. Listen, I've got to go to the toilet. What? No, don't feed me. Once. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Carter. There seems to have been a mix-up and this table is reserved. Oh, well then, get us another. Unfortunately, we're fully booked tonight. How is that possible? Well, one of our Platinum Club members reserved the entire restaurant. That is her, isn't it? She sent you over here. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss our paying guests. Now, if you would not mind. Right. Let's, let's leave. Sweetie, if you would not mind leaving, madam. Oh. I guess their membership expired. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that bitch. Better not bring that phony Gary scent with her. Or whatever person name is. Don't be fine. What do you care anyway? I thought you only wanted me. I just thought that her way. Mm -hmm. Is that Dolores' husband? Mm -hmm. Gosh, he's handsome. You know, I don't really believe in Bella's chances of getting the queen's kind of headbands anymore, honestly. <laughs> Darling! <laughs> it's gorgeous to see you. This is my new husband, Mr. Garrison. Good evening, Mr. Garrison. Hello, mm -hmm. Frontier. Ah, bien sûr. J'ai attendu. Dire que vous aimez jouer au golf. <laughs> wow, Tamara. He's starting to look like the real deal. <laughs> Being a French nobleman, you surely have good taste in wine, don't you? So, what's this? It's rich and a bit spicy. I think that's Romanet Conti. <laughs> He's right. It is Romanet Conti. <laughs> well, I never thought that uh, Tamara would find someone as well bred as our Kevin. <laughs> But I think she might have done it. <laughs> uh, I'm George Quinn, Tamara's father. Enchanted. <laughs> now, if I can have all of your attention, as you can see, both of my beautiful daughters are now betrothed, meaning that they are both now one step closer to my fortune. As you'll all remember, 
Their late mother was a brilliant designer, a generational talent. So, to prove that they are worthy of her name, I have devised a design contest. And the prize is the entire Quinn fortune. <laughs> the winner of the competition will inherit the entirety of my fortune and the house of Quinn. <laughs> this may seem a little cruel, but as my late wife always used to say, what's life without a little competition? <laughs> <laughs> But why would he do that? That's so fucked up. He's your dad. Doesn't he want you both to be happy? He's a fucking maniac. Always has been. And what about this new fella of yours? Mm, Can yeah. I see him? Can you play two of him? Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No fucking way. What? That's him. And oh who gosh. the hell is she? Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Um, I can't believe you've been in touch this whole time with habits. You know grandmother's keen to set you up with somebody. Well, she might not have to anymore. <laughs> Wait, Liam, what aren't you telling me? Smart story. <laughs> Hi, hubby. <laughs> nice to see you. Introduce me to your friend. Just introduce me to your friend. This is Stella, my friend from uni. Mm. And Stella, this is Tamara Quinn, my <laughs> wife. <laughs> it's so funny. He's never mentioned you before. <laughs> wow. I'm just glad he's finally found somebody. He couldn't date anyone for longer than a week in uni. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to think I keep him sane. <laughs> Can I just borrow him for a moment? Yeah. What's the matter? Are you jealous? You do remember that this is a fake marriage, right? I know, it's just... Oh, my family's got eyes everywhere now, I just... Just to be careful. Well, she's just a friend, I promise. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, I believe you. Are you still coming to my fashion show? Would I ever let you down? Philip? Philip? My maid of honor slept with my fiance. Taylor? Madison, I know you're a billionaire and busy, but how can you be late for your own wedding? Since this marriage is for your family, it's not necessary anymore. I've already canceled the wedding. I hope you can find a new bride. Getting married in two hours and my bride just ran away. <laughs> Do you need me to take you to the hospital? Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Please get me out of here. Come with me. <laughs> Today's my wedding day. I just found out that my maid of honor slept with my fiance. Wedding? Marriage? I'm sorry, who are you? Thought you'd never ask. How about we work together? contract marriage. What the hell is this? 
mean, I don't even know you. No, you don't. But this is perfect. Your fiancé just cheated on you, and I need a wife to get my family off my back. I've warned you many, many times. If you don't get married, there's no way I could transfer my end of the business to you. Now, look at all these buildings around here, all under the umbrella of my corporation. You know, billionaire, my inheritor is my priority. If I don't get married? You'll never get another cent from me. I'm telling you this could work. Look, we don't really have to actually be a couple, but we could pretend. And I'll pay you. <laughs> you think that marriage is just a game? Do you think that you can just buy everything? I mean, I, I appreciate you saving me just now, but I'm not going to sell away my love. Let's talk details about this marriage, shall we? Miss Wright, this is Dr. Gradwell. Listen, your mother isn't doing too well. She maybe has three months or four months talk. Give me that. Honey, don't listen to her. I'm fine. <coughs> no, it's just a little tickle. Listen, I'm not going to leave you alone. Not before I see you walk down the aisle. Forget Philip. You'll find someone else. Someone that... <coughs> someone better than that jerk. Don't, don't worry about me, Mom. I already found someone. I'll bring him to you. Even though I know nothing about him, whether he's good or bad, poor or rich, I'm going to marry him for my mom. I'll sign it under one condition. You pretend to be my loving husband in front of my mom. Same, but in front of my grandfather. Grandpa, meet my wife, Taylor. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't try to trick me with some random girl, did you? Of course not. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's great. I have to take this. Please, have a seat. So, was he serious? You went to UI? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you see the game last night? <laughs> I did. I cannot believe we lost to Michigan. Oh, I was so pissed. I could have smashed the television. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. What are you guys talking about? Did you tell me that she went to UI? And she's a big fan of football? Come on. Look. I am so sorry he didn't give you a proper ceremony. But you two are going on a fine honeymoon, and it's all on me. Oh, no, 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 that's not necessary. Consider it a wedding gift. It's a sweet. This must have cost him a fortune. This must have cost him a fortune. Well, he has some savings. It's, it's too much. He already paid for it. But there's only one bed. I I'll take the couch and you can have the- I'm not gonna let you sleep on the couch.
Uh, this is too awkward. I I'm just going to get another room. It's holiday season. Plus, it's full of my grandfather's informants. Informants? Well, him and the hotel mark manager are friends. If we get separate rooms, he's definitely going to find out. Anyways, what do we do now? <laughs> I don't know how to play. It's easy. Come on, I'll teach you. All right. Stupid game. I lost it. <laughs> Come on, you know the rules. Please be gentle. Um, it's getting late. I should probably go to bed. Okay. Good night. No, I'm going over here to place. You gotta leave. Look, she doesn't know who I am. Just get out of there and don't come back. I'll pay for your hotel and everything. All right? Oh, uh, how'd you know I was here? Calvin told me everything. Look, you can't keep living in Calvin's house. He's living in a hotel, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, I paid for it. Look, Taylor doesn't know who I am yet. So from right now, we're just regular people, not billionaires. I got you covered. What are you guys talking about? Well, I'm going to be staying with you guys for a few days. I mean, this is an ordinary house with, you know, ordinary one bedroom. So I think this study... Will be fine for an ordinary old man like me. What? <laughs> what he's trying to say is he's going to stay with us for a few days in the study room. Yes. Yes. Okay. There's uh, no couch, so... It's fine. The bed is big enough for both of us, so just stay on your side and... Don't come over here. Oh, I forgot to ask you, what do you do for work? I was a designer at Philips Company, but not anymore, so I need to find another job so I can pay my mom's medical bills. Like a clothes designer? Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, have a good night. You too. Yeah, I need you to do something for me. Give Taylor Wright the designer job. That's right. Ah! I just got a job from the MD Corporation. Ah! I just got a job from the MD Corporation. That's great. Taylor, this is Debbie. She'll be your supervisor. You can just call me Taylor. Okay, well, I'll be in my office. If you need anything, just knock. Calvin. You're welcome. Kelvin, personally, welcomed you to the company. You must be good at your job. Let me see what you can do. Oh yeah, I have a few sketches if you wanted to take I think we both know how you got this job. But let me give you a little warning. I'm not easy to work with. What do you mean? Here's what you have to do today. First, get me a hazelnut latte, 2% steamed milk. Oh, and double the syrup and make sure it's sugar-free. You have 15 minutes. <laughs> 